Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here. I'm at the home of Jimbo Jet Golf, so Honiton Golf Club. And we are on the seventh hole, which is a beautiful par three. Uh, this course has probably the hardest par threes collectively in the southwest of England. And what I see is amateurs try and take them on. They're far too aggressive and end up having massive scores that completely ruin their day. So today's video is about strategy and how maybe it's your strategy that is causing you these big numbers rather than your golf swing. So if you look at this hole, there's two bunkers short of the green. They're about 50 yards short. This is a hole that is about 220. Today with into the wind, uphill pin at the back, it's probably playing nearer 250, 260. So for your average golfer, that is driver every day of the week. Getting driver to miss these front bunkers is a danger, it's, they're probably in your landing area. If you go in them, big numbers might be coming your way. If you miss that first hazard, you can find bunkers at the front of the green. That's still leaving you a 30 yard horrible greenside bunker shot. Trouble. You've got trees on the left, trees on the right. Trouble. Can you see there's a theme to this video? Trouble. Let's get rid of the trouble. I've got five iron out. The reason I've got five iron out, so for me, five iron, you might want to use something slightly more, is I cannot reach the bunkers. If I can't reach the bunkers, all this trouble is now negated. It's actually playing quite wide. From the position, from that fairway, I'm actually playing up the green. I've got a good chance of making par. I reckon you'll make par more times with this club than you will with driver, plus, Four is likely to be your worst score. Four on a tough hole like this, not the end of the world. So let's hit the shot. So I like that. So that should give me a good chance. So let's get up there and see what the pitch shot's like. So I've made it up to, the, to my ball. You'll see the five iron kept me short of the bunkers. That is the key thing. Don't get into the mistake that I, again, I see a lot of amateurs do. They go drivers too much of a risk. I'll take, let's say, a five wood or a three wood and then they still find the trouble. If you're not gonna hit driver, so you're not gonna take the green on, make sure you negate all of the trouble. For me, definitely five iron. Like I say, for you, might be something slightly more. But look what I'm left with. I've actually opened up this pin haven't got to worry about the bunkers now. And I've actually got a pretty basic shot. You know, I've got my 54 out and the green slopes towards us a bit. So I'm just gonna try and drive it in there and hopefully give myself a good par chance. There we go. Fairly good example, it's not the best of wedge shot but I've got a good par chance but I've taken all the trouble out of play from here so again if you keep giving me that pitch shot I'm gonna make par more times than I'm gonna from these bunkers these bunkers those trees I feel like an air hostess so I'm gonna finish the video and next time you're out on the course especially when you're in a stroke play event just maybe consider is it my strategy that's making me have these big scores not necessarily in my golf swing. Get some comments down below. Hope to catch you soon.